Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Crew Mode. That is right. So, obviously, um, very solid results last episode, and I have been able to make a change or two. Uh, there's a bunch of players that I'm going in for, uh, but the one player that I've been successful in bringing back to Chelsea so far is Marco Alonso. Uh, really a great player. Um, someone who I'm very pleased to have is going to fill that left back role very well. To be honest with you, we needed an upgrade, and uh, he is the man for that. So, yeah, we're going to get into the match versus uh, Leicester City. So, I'm thinking of some sort of upgraded reward system for the transfer window, obviously. But, regardless, let's just get into this game first. Alright, guys, so we're getting into the game versus Leicester City. So, obviously, uh,. Looking forward to seeing how uh, Marcos Alonso can do. Uh, one thing I am really jealous of someone by the name of Bimonis because he did some sort of Pokemon series, right? But he had the free player glitch, so he was able to just transfer in the players for free. So, we do the series again uh, as season two. But. We're gonna have to see if there's any way we can maybe get an infinite budget somehow, even skip forward a season or something like that. Just a thought there. But either way, less shitty, so they're lining up with a uh, 4222. And by the way, is that Marcelo from Real Madrid? Wow, okay, uh, that'd be an impressive signing, but Danny Drinkwater, poor Chelsea target. Yeah, so 4 3 false sign for us. Uh, only real change is that obviously Alonso comes in. So, obviously, a bunch of great players on the bench. Got some confidence with them. Let's get into this. It's Alonzo, it's Alonzo. Shot and. Oh, what a save there. Really good chance early on. That's Shuai. I mean, it was a good attempt, but in all honesty, I probably should have got. It's Masanda, it's Masanda, what a ball, what a ball. It's Masanda, it's Masanda, it's Masanda. Sonda! Oh my god! How, how, how am I not scoring that? Tell me, Roan is blocked, okay? We we're putting such severe pressure on Lester. That's UI? What a block again! It's Triore, it's Triore! It's Triore! What a save again! Are you joking me? Bashuai, it's Bashuai, there we go. Mishi Bashuai, one nothing, and we have absolutely mauled Leicester City the whole entire game. There's just no doubt we deserve that goal, and a really good goal that it was indeed. Mishi, power finish outside of the foot. The keeper was having a madness of a game, but couldn't stop that one. It's gonna be Alonzo. Wins it over now to Bashuai. Sonda, Musanda here. It's Musanda! It's two! And on the verge of halftime, Charlie Musanda doubles our lead. And there we go. Brilliant pace from Charlie. And it's a smashing hit into the back of the net. 2 nothing. We have been fan. Fantastic so far. And yeah, no doubt, uh, we fully deserve our spot. And there goes halftime. Halftime comes with a 2 0 lead. We have been incredible so far. Uh, we have just battered Leicester City, in all honesty, so. Yeah, I don't see any need for any changes at the moment, so I'm just gonna continue this on, and, uh, hopefully we can get another. Come on, especially why it's Mishi Mishi! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's Hammer! A save either way, another save! This keeper is out of the world. Oh, there we go, it's Mishi! The keeper finally lets one in, and Mishi Bashuai puts it away. It's 3 0, 51 minutes in. The keeper had just pulled off two incredible saves in a row. 
But Mishi, perfect header, low down, right into the corner. And the man on the line should have done way more. But the keeper couldn't get any enough on it. And it's 3 0. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm gonna make a change or two now. Uh, we're tired, but I wanna kill this game off, get a fourth. So I'm thinking I'm gonna bring on uh, Gonzalez for Masanda, Shrevers for um, Batshuayi, and uh, Shalaba for Almiron. He's kinda tired. There we go, substitutions made. Uh, let's give this a good go. Now it's gonna be headed back. Okay, Zuma, Ake. It's Triore. It's Mishi, it's Mishi. It's Mishi. It's Mishi! It's four! And I believe that is Mishi Batshuayi's hat trick. Mishi puts it away. And we have we have humiliated the champions indeed. Leicester City just just what a hit. What a hit. The champions of the dream season are crumbling. They're crumbling. They have been horrific all game and they are indeed crumbling as easy as you like. For nothing. Because it's save the hammer again. Oh, jeez. Okay, all right. There we go. Game over. Uh, an absolutely deserved 4 nothing victory. We just destroyed Leicester City. That's probably my best performance of the whole entire series. They had one shot. We had 17 and 15 on target. I would say we're pretty darn decent, I have to say. So, yeah. Um, taking a look at the available players. So... Marcello, at first I thought this was the Real Madrid Marcello, and then I realized, well, it wasn't. So yeah, uh, Marcello and Hammer, I believe, are the only two players that actually changed from the original time we faced Leicester City, as uh, the rest of the lineup was practically the same. So, yeah, not much more to say there. Let's just get into the spin. Alright guys, so now we're going to spin the wheel. See who we're going to get. So we're going to spin it, and number two okay so if we look through so Marcelo is the first one and then Mark Albrighton so he's gonna become a potential target for us solid enough player uh, decent and uh, I'll definitely take that uh, Spurs set the offer for Davies okay great so we could have a, now a right back also I'm, pro I'm just gonna go probably for a bunch of cheaper deals um, over uh, what I usually do is just go for one big player, as we just simply put, really need to. Alright, so we're going to make an updated offer for Cesc Fabregas. Um, Manchester City, they want 40 million. Uh, I'll try 23. Plus Abraham. Uh, I could definitely do that for him. Uh, he's absolutely an incredible player. He's probably already like an 81 or something like that, so I don't blame them for wanting more money. But, uh, good news, Ben Davies is coming in, 11 million pounds, we still have a lot of money to make a move, we could easily sign Sesk and then still have money for at least one more mega signing, so, that is the idea. But good news also, Matt Miazga offer for him, that's going to get some wages off of the books. So Matty Miazga. So unfortunately so far we've only been able to make uh, defensive signings, but it is pretty good now, we have an incredible backline. Solid midfield that I'm very happy to take into the second game, which is against Hull. So, unfortunately, Sesc Fabregas has been a bit difficult to negotiate with, but uh, I've offered a contract to his liking. Hopefully we're getting it in there. Yeah. So, let's get into this match, and hopefully we can continue our good form. So, moving into the second game of the, uh, of the episode, we are obviously playing against Hull. Main man, main debutant. Ben Davies from Spurs. I believe he scored against Newcastle on the weekend. Uh, unfortunately, Tottenham got off to a bit of a better start than uh, Chelsea did this weekend. But um, let's just say Craig Poston was the man of the match, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, talking about us, the man of the match had to be Mishibeshiwai. 
could have easily got four or five. Uh, had an incredible performance and uh, really just smacked Lester silly. And uh, four for a goalkeeper man. So yeah, four three three four nine and. Ben Davies is going to be on that right back slot, so hopefully he can be pretty solid there. So, let's see. So, the whole league lineup. So, they do have uh, Ryan Mason. Andrew Robinson would be a very good left back option, but I doubt we need that really. Uh, there's Umar Niasse, uh, Hernandez. I mean, there aren't really any players that I'd really want, but I'd definitely not complain about getting depth as a uh, plan to go into the Europa Sonda, 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 Sonda! Oh, well, side netting. Brilliant, brilliant save there, and they're gonna try to get it again. And there goes halftime. Okay, nil, nil. Uh, definitely gonna make some changes. Um, yeah, I really could have used Sesk to this game. Just uh, we're lacking that creative imagination. So I'm. Thinking, I'm gonna have to sacrifice uh, Masanda, who's kind of been. Uh, I'm gonna take off Masanda. F Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take off Shrevers for Batshuayi. Yeah, I'm a bit of a controversial choice, but I want to see if Shrevers can do a job there. He needs to be a little more agile than Mishi. Mishi's just done nothing. I wish we had a Valor or a Mara. Oh, it's Triori! Oh, it's Triori! It's Triori! Traore, what a save from Marshall, what a save! What a save! Alright, we're gonna have to make a change or two. Um, I'm thinking Masana's gonna come off for Gonzalez, and then I'll bring on Chalaba for Dukure. This, this game, this game, honestly, is just so frustrating. The shot shot goal! It's Alonso! 90th minute scramble in the box and Marcos does what nobody else could. Grabs the winner against Hull of all sides. We have had a humongous struggle, but to get that goal is such a key moment. Right across the box, Dawson did nothing and Alonso just got the most dribbly of finishes. Marshall was brilliant all game, but just could do nothing in those last moments. Oh, yes. Oh. Then we can uh, do it. There we go. That's it. That is it. This time I will make sure to take a look at the uh, lineups. So, yeah, for Hull, uh, Mason and Diane Bacani. Um, Marcus Henriksen wouldn't be bad, actually. Um, not a bad team, uh, but kind of meh from them. And, uh, yeah, we were deserving. If they had scored that penalty, that it would have been BS, but they didn't, and we got away with it, so yeah. That is it for the game, and yeah, we're going to see if there are any other games in January, or I may come back to you on transfer deadline day just to uh, give you a summation of uh, the transfer activities we've done. So, managing to beat Hull City, one nothing. taking a look at the lineup. Yet again, it is kind of mediocre, um, and McConney could be nice. I mean, Ryan Mason, uh, former Tottenham player, but solid player. He's recovering, I think, fairly well from the head injury, so hopefully we see him back in the future, but regardless, uh, yet again, let's spin the wheel. All right, so after victory over Hull City, one nothing. Uh, let's spin the wheel again, see who we're going to be getting. So we're spinning the wheel, and number 10. Okay, so number 10, so now if we switch over here, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, is Michael Dawson. Okay, so Michael Dawson, sorry for the delay, just wanted to get sure it's absolutely right. Yeah, Michael Dawson is another potential decent target, could be useful in defense, but not sure overall. And there we go to end off the episode. Cesc Fabregas is coming back to Chelsea. That's right. 30 million pound move 
plus Marco Van Hinkle. So yeah, um, at the moment we uh, are having 41.32 million, or basically realistically around 45 million. Um, so at the moment, really, squad depth is looking like this. We got our main squad, then we got Kennedy, Shriver, Shelba. Uh, we need more squad depth in all honesty. Um, I think the policy is going to be that any of these players who can't get sold during the transfer window, I'm simply just going to integrate them into the squad. Um, like basically, what I may do after um, the transfer window ends is, is any of these lone players are still here. If we basically manage to win the game, instead of drawing cards because that's pointless because you can't do that, um, I will bring those and it said but yeah that is it one thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and yeah i shall see you guys later peace